Welcome back, my sons. I'm Gianna. And I'm Jacob. Today is September 29th, 2023, National Starbucks Day. Our word of the week is paranoia. You're, You're watching, watching Gardner Newman News, News Network. Network. Hey, my stains, I'm Kinsley. Today is September 29th, National Starbucks Day. Starbucks is one of the true American's true iconic brands right up there with McDonald's. A few other places you can go in the world not to find a Starbucks. In other words, it's a brand worth celebrating. More than that, it's a brand worth the of an entire day so get yourself a cake pop muffin frappuccino or a basic drip coffee and enjoy your national starbucks day listen it back to jacob and gianna Thanks, Mr. Callahan here. We are really honored to have Mr. Wright with us today. He is one of our new eighth grade math students here at Gardner Newman or teachers here at Gardner Newman Middle School. And he actually decided he'd give us a little new teacher interview. We like for everyone to get to know the new teachers a little bit, even if they don't have them. So the first question is, it's a similar one that a lot of the teachers are gonna hear. Where'd you go to college? What'd you major in? So I was um, originally from Texas, so I went to Texas State University. Oh, cool. It's a big old division one school down in San Marcos, Texas, where I played football as well. And then I majored in exercise, sports science, and mass communication. That's awesome. There's a couple of decent rivers that go through there too. Yeah, right, right through middle time. campus. Oh, I know. And when you graduate, you jump oh, right I into know. it. Oh, I know. My, awesome. uh, one of my best friends from college went there actually. Oh, wow. Awesome yeah. school. Anyhow, so the next question, these were written by Jocelyn, one of our eighth grade students. And it says, what is your favorite sport, football or baseball? I think I can guess that now. And do you prefer college or professional sports? So uh, definitely football all the way. And uh, being from Houston, I'm a Houston Texans mm -hmm. fan, so I'm all about the pros. Very cool, very cool. No U of H love for him this time. All right, next question. We'll go quickly here. How long have you been teaching? So this will be my fifth year, but my first year in eighth grade math. Very cool, very cool. So the last one is, what is your dream college? Was Texas State your dream college or was, I'll restructure her question just a little bit, was your main dream college is somewhere you could play Division One football or was, did you, have, did you always wanna go to UT or something? No, so Texas State was kind of number one on the docket and then uh, I actually walked on as a football player so it just kind of happened to work out for, for me in both happenstance, so. Uh, yeah, that was my dream with Texas State. And I was happy to be there and happy to graduate there. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Wright. We sure appreciate your time. And let's send it back to the studio. Today is a special day at GMS and around the country. And I can't believe you didn't wear gold. Now look, I am wearing gold. Now I'll send it over to Coach Callahan to find out more about Child Cancer Awareness Month. Hey, Mustangs, I'm Mr. Callahan. The reason we wear gold in September is to spread awareness for childhood cancer. Cancer of any age is very difficult and a very hard thing, but especially when it's our children. They say to wear gold because gold is precious, just as precious as our children. Let's take a look around Gardner Newman and see who else was wearing some gold today. Starting to get cold, Mustangs. Yeah, let's send it over to Elsie and find out how cold it just might get. Thanks, Jacob and Gianna. I'm Elsie here with the weather for the rest of the week. Today will be partly cloudy with the high of 86 and the low of 61. Tomorrow will also be partly cloudy with the high of 86 and the low of 63. On Sunday, it will again be partly cloudy with the high of 84 and the low of 61. Have a great week and let's send it back to the studio. The great historian Lord Acton once said, History is not a burden on the memory, but an illumination of the soul. Let's see what all happened on this day in history.
And my Stein family is LeJavian again, back with another day in history. Today is September 29, 2023, and on this day in history, Discovery was launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida, marking a resumption of NASA's space shuttle program, which had been suspended following the Challenger explosion in 1986. This was a very sad event that happened, and a lot of lives were lost. In the meantime, let's send it back to the studio to hear what they have to say about the current events. Hey Mustangs, I'm Wyatt. And this is Connor here with your college football check-in for this weekend. Last weekend, the Auburn Tigers suffered a tough, a tough loss against Texas A&M, while Georgia played UAB Dragons and won 49-24. My predictions for this weekend is that it'll be a good game, but the Bulldogs will end up winning by a late field goal. What do you see happening in Auburn tomorrow? I think Auburn is going to come out winning 35-28. It is a, it is an Auburn stage, so that gives them an advantage. I also think dogs haven't quite seen a defense as strong as the Tigers will have. All right, guys, that's your college football update for this weekend. Let's send it to McConney with a look at the NFL with Falcons Fest. Hey Mustangs, it's McConney back here with the Falcon Fest 2023. Sunday, the Atlanta Falcons are going at the Jack Jacksonville Jaguars to try to secure a win across the pond in London. This game will be in, played in the world famous Wembley Stadium. An early 9 for the Eastern kickoff. Also, the NFL are doing a collaboration with Disney Pixar with a Toy Story themed game to engage your young fans. It should be lots of fun to watch. Let's take it to the, back to the studio. Hey Mustangs, I'm Tristan here with your Braves bullpen. It's been an awesome week for the Bravos as they host the Chicago Club and our own Ronald Cooney entered the exclusive club. He is a founding member of the 740 Club. This season he stole 70 bases and hit 40 home runs. He did it in a dramatic fashion on Wednesday night in extra inning. Then on the very next pitch, Albies hit the winning walk-off single to bring Ronald Cooney home for the winning run. We swept the Cubs last night. We will be starting a new series with the Washington Nationals. Good morning, Gardner Newman Mustangs. Today I'm here with Coach B, the head coach of Gardner Newman football. Coach B, what did you think about the game last night against Auburn? Hey, that was a that was a tough game last night. Um, we was up 13-0 with about two minutes and 56 seconds left. We had a fumble. Uh, we were going, you know, to, to the start of their possession, and um, we were going to try to hold, you know, run the clock out. They end up getting the ball. And uh, they scored on about three, four possessions. Then they did their onside kick. What well, was a great job um, by by them, and we didn't feel it. And then they came back and scored again and got that uh, two point conversion for the win. So a little by one point, that was, it was tough. I thought uh, we should have had some calls that could have went our way, but sometimes when you leave it in the hands of the ref, that will happen. But uh, I love the way we fought. I think we were underestimated last night, and we showed. Those guys in the Auburn, what time it was for, you know, Mustang, like real Mustang football. Uh, that's all for today. Gardner and Mustang, see you tomorrow. Wonderful things are happening this year. Let's see what some of those things are.
It's National Wear and Gratitude Day. You might wonder why we need a Wear and Gratitude Day. Isn't that what Thanksgiving for? However, not every country celebrates Thanksgiving besides the U.S. and Canada. There are only a handful of countries that have an official day of thanks. The observer gives every person in every county a chance to think about what they are thankful for. We are thankful for. Let's hear from the students. Hey, Wolfgang, I'm here, and I'm grateful for uh, my friends and family and living here another day. Um, hey, guys, I'm Diori from what? From Brian Mustangs, and I'm grateful for my family. Hey, I'm Skylar, and I'm thankful for my family. What's up, Mustangs? I'm Amir, and today is National Gratitude Day. I'm grateful for my football team. Pepe, what are you grateful for? Football. Hi, I'm Miss Butler, and I'm thankful for all of our Mustangs that are always respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. Hey, good morning. I'm thankful to have my kids and my family and everyone safe. What's up, Mustangs? I'm Amir, and today is National Gratitude Day. One thing I'm grateful for is football. Ms. Platt, what are you grateful for? I'm grateful for my students here at Garner Newman. I love them all. I'm also grateful for my cheer team uh, competition at LaGrange High. I'm also grateful for my Garner Newman golf team, who killed it last night, both the boys and girls won. Uh, and Garner Kane and Bailey Mitchell were a little medalist, so I'm super grateful for all the hard work they put in, and I'm just grateful to be here and sit here with Amir. What's up, Mustangs? I'm Amir, and today is National Gratitude Day. I'm grateful for my friends and family. Miss Lily, what are you grateful for? I'm grateful for my friends and family also, plus everybody here at the school. I'm grateful for um, all the re relationships that I have with all the students here. Hi, good morning, Mustangs. My name is Mr. Lundy, and for National Gratitude Day, I am so thankful to work here at Garden Newman uh, with these fine students right here. Uh, they make my day. They make me smile every morning, and I just uh, I really enjoy teaching my, 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 my students. So uh, I hope you all have a blessed day. Hey, Mustangs. I'm Lucy. And I'm Patty. And today we're going to be doing the Toxic Waste Challenge. Okay, so I have a pineapple passion fruit one. And I have blueberry and banana. Okay, here's yours, Patty. And we're going to try to do it with no reaction. So. Yeah. Hey Mustangs, we're going to be trying the sour candy. There's no sour. Yes, sour candy. <laughs> it's pretty not sour for me, Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mustangs. I'm gonna try out this candy. Y'all, I don't like sour stuff, so this is not gonna be good. Y'all ready? <laughs> this is gonna be bad. Oh, okay. It's bad. I'm getting worse. <laughs> okay, that's bad. <laughs> Adrian, you try one. <laughs> Yeah. You probably would like them, but Okay. All right, man. This ain't good. But it's sweet. This ain't good. This ain't good. But it's sweet. This We're going to be trying some sour candy. Man, this thing is big. No more. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's sour. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> hey, Mustangs, we're going to be trying some toxic waste sour candy. Let's see how it goes. Blue raspberry flavor. Is it sour or is it not 
That's the ending of this video, Mustangs. Remember to watch out for new videos every week. Don't forget to be respectful, responsible, and, and ready, ready to learn. learn.